My name is Sullivan Silva, but most people just know me as Sully. For most of my life, I have lived and breathed soccer. Being a good athlete, both in high school and in college, opened up a world of drinking, partying, and girls. Growing up, I made decisions based on my own self-seeking nature and on the opinions of those around me. I did things that made me feel good and made me look good. I did things the world told me I was supposed to do as a teenager and live my life filled with reckless relationships and poor decisions. In 2005, I nearly reached my life's goal by signing on with a semi-pro team when injuries set in. I suffered a series of third-degree ankle sprains over the next two years that rocked my world. I had trained my entire life to become a professional. Countless hours, blood, sweat, and tears were all thrown away in an instant. With each re-injury, I found myself falling further and further into a world of self-pity, frustration, and bitterness. Everything and everyone I knew revolved around soccer, and now it was all gone. I felt angry, lost, and alone. I was a soccer player who had lost the ability to play, and I felt completely worthless. It was in these moments that I finally felt God tugging at my heart. I began to see that there had to be more to life, more to me, than this. In my eyes, God had always been for others, for people who had gone through huge life events, addictions, or death in the family. But for me, for the first time, I realized that when God was speaking all these years, that he was speaking directly to me. In 2009, I followed God to Nicaragua on my first missions trip. We gave away clothing and toys to kids in need, ran soccer clinics for local youth, and visited schools in order to teach students about Jesus. On the second to last day of the trip, we visited a church and sat in on one of their services. I was asked to share my testimony with the congregation. As I stood on stage looking out into a crowd of strangers in a makeshift three-walled church on the side of an enormous and dense mountain in the middle of a poor South American country, recounting my journey through life, I couldn't be help but be brought to tears. God's majesty, love, patience, forgiveness, and mercy had never been so real to me. My passions for soccer and for teaching children God's plan for my life intertwined in a moment of clear purpose and direction to follow Jesus anywhere in hopes of spreading the life-changing gospel of Christ. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ because he pursued me even when I turned and ran from him. He turned my passions into purpose and my faults into strengths. I'm a follower of Christ because there is no me without him. My name is Sullivan Silva and I